Okay, what we have here is a 6601D helicopter. It's by a company called Hu Zi Zhang Toys. Let me see this real quick. See who these guys are. Um, pretty nice little helicopter. Uh, I was I was impressed with it. First of all, I think it looks cool. I I like I like the design on the canopy. I like I like the unique little designs on the propellers. It, it looks pretty cool. Nice box. Looks like really good on a white background there with uh, you know different. It's pretty cool design. Box here you can you know it comes in something like this. Um, <clears throat> real quick, what you get you get the infrared remote comes with the char built-in charge cable right here. You turn on the tra to charge it. You turn on the transmitter, turn off the helicopter. Here's the off button right there. Plug into your charge port, and you get a little green indicator light saying that it's charging. When it's done charging, that light goes off. Uh, that's something I didn't like about this controller is I had trouble getting this little piece of plastic to snap back together. That just might be me. I'm I'm not the best with odd plastic stuff. Has a speed key on it on the transmitter. You got this key that adjusts you're running in full full speed or reduced speed. That's supposed to be for beginners, I guess. I haven't noticed that to be any, anything worth worth. I I've never needed it. Maybe some beginner out there likes it. Another thing it has on here is the light control button. That's pretty cool. If you fly at night or in the dark, you've got uh, you got here the you sync up your transmitter, and, it, and then you've got you can turn these lights on and off. I just think that's 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 worth doing. Um, flies pretty smooth. You can see here as I spin it, it's a little smooth, but it sounds a little rough. Let me let me hold it so you can hear how rough it sounds. Teeny bit rough. That's okay. Um, it's kind of on the edge there. It doesn't sound terrible. But uh, let's see. You get a trim adjustment here on the uh, transmitter. As this thing takes off, the gyro sometimes isn't perfectly tuned, and you can tweak that until it's very stable hover. Now about the helicopter, it has a really good hover. I was real impressed with the flight characteristics. I thought it flew really good. Uh, has a really long flight time comparatively. It's six minutes two seconds is how long this thing can stay above four feet high. Uh, that's impressive to me. I've flown a lot of these helicopters and you're lucky to get more than three minutes on most of them. So a six minute two second flight time, that's great. Um, I've crashed it quite a bit and it seems seems pretty tough, but telling how tough a helicopter is is a little bit difficult. You know, you almost have to crash a few uh, before you know exactly how tough they are but yeah this has handled a few good crashes a few hard landings and uh, you know it comes it's come out of it without a scratch seems to be pretty good um, some of the negatives there aren't a lot but the first negative I didn't like this uh, piece of plastic on the controller I'm it seems like I'm always having trouble getting that to stay it's always coming undone for me that's one negative um, this is a positive I guess it has the A B and C mode so you could have three of these in the same room, potentially three three different helicopters, three different people flying them, all on channel A, B, or C. That's kind of cool. One more negative thing about this helicopter, pro probably the biggest complaint, which isn't that big a deal, is it, it does not come with a USB cable. A lot of these helicopters they short you on the USB cable. You have to charge from the transmitter. That's really not a big deal. It has the same uh, connector as a S107, so maybe I'm not supposed to but I've used the S1107 charge cable on this and it seems to work fine um, but you know I use I usually use my transmitter anyways just because I'm worried I'll do something wrong to the battery but uh, yeah that'd be my only real complaint about this is there's uh, the USB cable you have to buy it extra and they say on the box you know sold separately to me that just seems kinda cheap but oh well that's that's life uh, yeah, but overall, I give this a big thumbs up. Really like this helicopter. Long fly time, really stable, fun to fly. Uh, it's a good little helicopter, and I think it looks pretty cool, too. So I'll show you some video in just a sec.
Here's a quick demonstration on how fast the helicopter can climb. I'm going to go full full throttle to climb. 